Hi, everybody. I'm Nancy Newman, and Frank Isola is here with me as well for Nets Post Game Plus Final Score in Utah. The Nets fall to the Jazz 118 to 88. Tough one tonight, Frank. A shorthanded Nets team. Yeah. Yeah. It was going to be difficult without James Harden. I think he wanted to play. He was in uniform. The Nets wanted to hold him out. He had injured his neck in that game against Washington. Had such a terrific game the other night against Portland. The Nets had a nine game road winning streak against Western Conference teams. That's pretty good. But the Utah Jazz had the best record in the NBA. They just outclassed the undermanned Nets tonight. Just much better team. Just turn the page. The Nets had just 10 active players for their matchup against the Jazz and scored a season low 88 points. It was the largest margin of defeat this season. A bright spot, the play of Alizé Johnson. 23 points, 15 rebounds off the bench in his Nets debut. Following the game, coach Steve Nash spoke about the performance of the newest Net. He was great. Uh, stuffed the stat sheet, played good defense, tons of energy. I mean, I don't think he's really played since the you know, the G League bubble, so heck of an effort from him and, uh, you know, proud of the way he played. What was your, your message to the guys throughout this one and at the end of it in the locker room? A lot of guys get an opportunity uh, that they yeah. don't usually have. Yeah, it, you know, um, that's, a, that's a great team. You know, that's a team with the best record in the league. Uh, we went out there severely under men, and, and most importantly, they stuck together, played hard. Uh, defensively were pretty good, maybe gave up too many threes, but otherwise did a lot of good things defensively and uh, just told them I was proud of them. And it was great to see some of those guys get some some minutes, some opportunity, make some buckets, get some rebounds and stops and, and just kind of develop. So uh, lots lots to be thankful for, um, you know, and, uh, and we move on to Detroit. Brooklyn will be back in action on Friday with a visit to the Pistons. Pre-game coverage starts at 6.30 p.m. and you can see it on Yes or stream it live through the new Yes app available wherever you download your apps. For Frank Isola, I'm Nancy Newman. Thanks for joining us on Nets Post Game Plus.